So this lesson is computing unit prices to find a better buy. So usually if we want a better buy, it's going to be less expensive than um, something that is not such a good buy. So here's Ivana needs to buy plastic forks, brand A that has a box of 24 forks for $1.87 and brand B has 42 uh, forks for $2.87. So there are some key words right here. You want to do how many dollars for each fork per fork. So we want to take the cost and divide it for it by the number of forks. So for brand A, we are going to take our calculator and we're going to do a dollar eighty-seven. So we want to do the cost. Let's see if that moves up. Dollar. 87 and we're going to divide it by 24 so brand a has 24 forks and they're a dollar 87 so we take a, the how much they cost divided by how many they are there are and it's going to be about 0 0.07 or eight cents we had to round so it's going to be eight cents for each fork and then we're going to um, take our brand B and we'll do $2.87 and divide it by, let's see, how many was it? Uh, 42. Oopsies, I did that wrong. And it's gonna be about seven cents. So see the, um, the 0 0.06 here, and you look at the eight, and it says round it up to 0.7. So we're going to put in here 0 0.07 for our answer. So the better buy is the one that costs less, which is brand B. So let's just do one more here. Um, the 7.03 kilogram bag, see how it says dollars? per kilogram. So we want to take the cost of the 7.03 kilograms, which is 1329. So we'll do 1329 and we're going to divide it by 7.03 because that's how many kilograms there are. And to the nearest cent, it's going to be $1.89. So we're going to go in here and we're going to type one $1.89. And then we'll take uh, 7.26, so we have 13.58, $13.58 divided by 7.26, and it will be $1.87. So we'll type in $1.87. So which one is cheaper? The 7.26 kilogram bag. Of course, if they were the same price, then our answer would be neither. So that is the end of the lesson.